Hey what's up guys so here i am v satish from sgbit so now today we are going to see the program of comparing these two strings and checking whether if it is equal if it is equal we will type it as we'll print it as equal if it is not it is not and you are giving the length of the each of the strings right so here it is dot data we are initializing six strings first string into the second string length of the first string into the second string two strings are equal two strings are not equal so for storing the two strings we are getting two strings value and for storing the length of the corresponding two strings we are going to initialize two lengths le1 le2 here is a macro program for uh, displaying the message messages which we have uh, declared before and dot code starts here so dot data ax comma add data move ds comma ax uh, move es comma ax so we are, since we are using two strings of uh, something like um, 80 locations so we are going to use both data segment and extra segment so since extra segment uh, sorry since we are going to use both the segments so we are going to use both index registers like si source index and da also destination index so this message one that is displays into the first string so le ds comma str1 so dx will be pointing to the um, starting address of the str1 so call reads so here we are going to call a function so it call reads comes here so move h comma 0 h in 21 h return so what happens here is uh, you will whatever you enter into the screen it will store in str1 and initially what happens in the location second location will store the number of uh, characters which have entered in the screen that is if you enter like okay satish initially enter the first string you will enter satish so how many characters are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 will be stored here and from next next location it will start storing the characters so s a t h i s h after that it will return by generating carriage return but the carriage return is just not considered as a count okay so it will store at str1 this is data segment um, carry, carry out by si uh, source index is the um, index register for the data segment in the same way extra segment also in extra segment you will say uh, let us assume that you will also enter again as um, the same value as satish itself you are making the string as equal ok so le so this message to enter the second string will be displayed after that lea dx comma str2 so dx will be pointing to x uh, starting address of the str2 after that um, call reads so it, it reads and it will get typed as satish again here same thing right so here it is now after that move el comma str plus 1 so str1 is always str1 if you take the address of str1 it represents the starting location of the str1 so it is written as str1 plus 1 that is it represents this location this location value will be moved to el that is el will be equal to 7 now after that el is moved to le1 so le1 gets the first string uh, length of the first string so it is 7 and the same thing happens so for uh, second string also so str2 plus 1 moves to l and l moves to length 2 so l2 also will become equal to this value so this is also 7 so after that compare al comma len1 so al, AL value is also 7 and it's comparing with len1 so both are equal right this is also 7 and this is also 7 so since we have rendered the same string this obviously the number of characters will be equal so if you initially what it takes place is if you give any different strings then initially it will check for the condition for if it is equal if it has equal number of characters if it is not obviously it is not equal so it will exit by uh, um, what by displaying the messages like this string is not equal so here that is happens now 
so if it is not equal it will go to str not str notice here that is display message 6 message 6 is string is not equal and it will display the length of the string so in our case it is equal so we will go to next instruction so we initialize cx value so cx will be equal to length 1 you can initialize as length 1 or length 2 because both are going to be equal so cx is equal to 0 0 0 7 or it will become like this ch is 0 initially ch will upper name will become 0 and cl will be equal to length 1 after that load effective address si comma str plus 2 because it starts from here right the characters so we have to give it as str1 str1 plus 2 this location same thing for destination index also str2 plus 2 so cld cld means it is a clear direction flag so direction flag will become equal to 0 so if you compare between these two segments so what happens is it will auto increment si and di so that's why in order to do that you are going to clear the direction flag that is the uh, direction flag will become equal to 0 now after that repeat equal compare string byte so this instruction will repeat each and every time till it becomes false or it, uh, it, if the string is not equal then it will come out or else if you erase the end of the SA and DA like uh, till count equal to till CX is equal to 0 it will count uh, it will it will get repeated so uh, in this case we will check compare string bit so compare string bit means it will check each and every string on SA and DA so if it is equal uh, according to CLD uh, direct according to direction flag si and di will be incremented by 1 again it will check by compare string by so it will occur still cx is equal to 0 in other case if it is not equal also the repeat equal uh, if it is not repeat if it is not equal so the condition fails so it comes out of the comparison so here we are now repeat equal compare string by so we starts from here yes yes it is equal so auto, auto increment so a a so it is equal again it will auto increment tt it is equal so till h it will compare and by that time since it is 7 strings so it will loop will occur for 7 times so when cs is equal to 0 the loop will the loop gets over and the, all the strings are equal so result will be equal now so jump not equal so if it is not equal then it will go to str end node so if any characters mismatch then will display the strings is not equal right so here that's what is written here so jump not equal str not it will display message 6 and it will go for next instruction if it is equal then it will display message 5 the string is strings are equal after the jump next next is comes is here now we are going to display the length of the string so this message 3 the end uh, the length of the first string is that message will be displayed after that move al comma alien 1 so alien 1 a is uh, alien 1 is 7 right so a will become 7 now after that call display so display may procedure is here now okay we have left here so a ascii adjust after multiplication as we know that it's an unpacking of um, a l to a x register if it is if you guys don't know please go back and watch the videos so here we are now um now a will be equal to 7 right so what happens here is actually it is 0 7 so this value will go to ah, AH and this value will go to AL. So AX will become now 0007. After that um, AX will be moved to BX. So this is also equal to BX now. After that BX plus 30. So 3037. This will be the BX value now. Because this is in order to show it in the output screen we have to represent the numbers in ascii code so that's why we are adding it by 30 after move h comma 0 to h it's an interrupt for displaying the single character output so initially we are going to display bh after that bl so bh will be moved to dl after we will display again we'll bl will move to dl again we'll display after that we'll return it so on the screen it will display like 7 now that's it again we'll return so our constructions comes here so display message for so message for is displayed and same thing hackers for uh, happens for uh, length 2 also after the move h comma 4 ch in 21 h it terminates the program so that's the program is all about so we'll catch up in next video bye bye